So let's have a look at Middle East conflict quickly. Report Israel and Iran were satisfied with the eye for an eye they had dealt each other. But then the Biden admin blabbed to the press and made Iran look bad. So, okay, a few things. One, I don't believe you. I don't think Israel was satisfied at all. They didn't get the last word. They didn't get a special privileged status where they're allowed to shoot back and Iran aren't allowed to retaliate. Because the US backs Israel, supposedly. Because, it's, because the US didn't back Israel. The US, and in fact, I believe the UK, but some other European countries, said, we're not going to back you if you, if, you, if you retaliate again. That was interesting. I didn't expect that. I guess it was uh, simping for the, the Palestine uh, lobby, to be honest. But um, either way, Israel then didn't. It's not like Israel's all powerful. They stopped when the West told them to. And uh, obviously, like, what's best for them at that point? Save face by saying, yep, yeah, no, that's fine. I for an eye were satisfied. No, you're bloody not. <laughs> no, you, you know, of course you're not. I guess the only question there is, OK, let's take it a step above that. If it's all pantomime, which is possible, um, but not super likely, Israel and Iran are on the same side. Iran is just Israel's way of keeping conflict in the area so that they have more excuse for totalitarianism, like authoritarian rule in Israel. They have an excuse to extract money from the US because we're, we're under threat. Yeah, that's possible. It's possible that it's all set up. But um, the one argument against that is that the leader of Israel looks worse for letting this attack happen. Um, and he's already not very popular, is he? So, I don't know. I don't suspect that we're looking at the you know, higher level masterminded uh, uh, pantomime here. I suspect we're looking at what it appears roughly. Of course, with the fact that Iran is uh, either directly or indirectly, knowingly or not knowingly, an arm of, uh, of, of, of chaos to just make shit happen. Then you've got to ask yourself, OK, why does ISIS not attack Israel then? Do they not? I don't know. I'd read that they don't. But uh, if they don't, uh, then that is uh, something to question. Former Defense Secretary Robert Gates said Joe Biden has been wrong on nearly every major foreign policy and national security issue over the past four decades. It looks like that 0 .00 batting average continued with Israel's retaliatory strike on Iran last night, says not the B. While America was sleeping, Israel was conducting an early morning missile strike on Iran. From the Washington Post, Iranian state media was muted in its response to the attack, saying its air defense systems had intercepted three small drones in Isfahan province. Hey, I actually hadn't heard about this. This is actually retaliation, but only a small one. Maybe to follow my original wording on this, this is just a token retaliation in order to uh, uh, save face, save more face. Uh, the area is home to sensitive facilities, an Iranian military base, and key nuclear labs. But the attack appeared to be only a pinprick given Israel's long range military capabilities. So there you go, probably just to save face. With Israel tight lipped after the attack. So, as I said, like the people that said nothing, nothing's going to happen there, or not, nothing ever happens. Well, in this case, yeah, nothing was going to happen. Um, I predicted that quite soon after this all fired up. People were saying, could be the next World War III. I, I was saying, I don't think so. Um, no, turns out this time I was right. But the attack appeared to be only a pinprick, with Israel tight-lipped after the attack in Iran downplaying its significance. The two sides appear to be hoping the exchanges so far may be enough to satisfy domestic audiences without requiring further escalation. I think, I think I'm, I'm, unless you can posit a, a reason why all this would be deliberate pantomime, I think I'm seeing that, um, like, yeah, it is a bit disorganized. Like there's, there's different powers vying for control to different degrees over there, but it's not all one power structure just pretending it's all happening on different sides. Um, and in terms of like the idea of, uh, of uh, like white people appearing in military adverts in the US, yeah, maybe Israel does, do, does want to influence US adverts to get more Americans to join the war, maybe. But they had an opportunity to make it happen here to create an escalation that would draw the US into a conflict, and they didn't, they haven't so far. It seems to be de-escalating. Israel appears to be trying to de-escalate, literally trying to de-escalate after being attacked. I don't know. I'm not seeing the mastermind pantomime here, to be honest. So yeah, I don't, I don't, think, uh, I don't think this was ever going to be anything.
Um, it's possible that the white people appearing in adverts is just some element of the military thinking, look, we know what the problem is, okay? We know what the problem is. It's the, the racial bias and the woke shit in the military. And somehow getting through to some marketer somewhere who changes something. I don't know, maybe. It's, I'm not trying to be too optimistic here, but as an alternative proposal. And maybe it is Israel hoping that they can draw the US into conflict, but they can't. <laughs> right now they're failing, possibly because of the Palestine lobby. And who set that up? Don't know, but maybe forces um, allied to you know, for forces of the establishment. But maybe it was China trying to reduce Israel's influence over the US so China can have more influence over the US. That seems plausible to me, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe so. I think there's some truth to that, though, Libertine. The idea that World War Two and World War One and World War Two. Well, in that case, they're saying World War Two, but it was so it was so much happened that so little can happen after that. But well, the 20th century was very eventful after that. But uh, you know, still, broadly speaking, a period of of, of peace in the uh, in the West. Um, you know, compared to the rest of history, it's been pretty peaceful and prosperous. Uh, well, I won't say prosperous exactly. In the last 20, 20 years at least, it's been slowing down a lot. But um, you know, in a lot of other ways, uh, in, in a lot of measures, very prosperous. So, uh, but yeah, like a massive war like that is likely to bring some degree of peace, but uh, also possibly complacency, which is what we're seeing today. Anyway, yeah, uh, I won't go on. I won't go any further on this because I the war's not really that interesting to me. But uh, the, the the war, yeah, the uh, the pissing match between one set of desert savages and the other set of desert savages.